That's what we decided to go with. I'm going with Christy. Uh, JP had some show to go to. He's always on the go. So he ditched us. He has a fun social life, apparently. Yeah, he, he, I guess he has a life. So that uh, that helps him. But anyway, we're here. And we're here to talk about Survivor. Um, can I just say this off right off the bat? There's some These people are kind of wacky. They're, they're, they're different. Some of them seem maybe a little bit unstable. Well, I just want to start off with Charisma cuts herself, and obviously it wasn't it wasn't like she lost her hand or anything like that. But nobody went over to her. Nobody. But did you? Well, are you taking her side there? Because I don't think they noticed her. Well, maybe they didn't. But I'm just the way the camera was showing it, and she, I, I don't know. Just um, the way it looked to me was that she was over there, and she was kind of at an angle. So they're all kind of interacting over there, and nobody was turning to look and see. And she, it wasn't like she was calling for help. She wasn't like, "Oh my gosh, I cut myself." She didn't say a word. It was like she wanted them. She expected them to read her mind and know that she hurt herself and needed their help. It was super okay. So, so I was wrong. Oh, <laughs> am I wrong? So I'm wrong about. So I'm wrong about that. The, the tribe just letting her bleed bleed out. <laughs> I don't think so. No one would really do that. It seemed. I'm gonna say I have a 13 year old daughter, and it was very 13 year old little girl. It was like, oh my gosh, yeah. It was. Well, well, well her whole episode was like that. Mm -hmm. I don't fit in. It's a sorority. It's you know, I I'm 37. I'm like going. Are you 37? Oh, I'm going 37. That's oh, I'm yeah. not I'm not 37, but she said she was 37. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was like, going, well, that's not really that, that old. No, you know, to be anyway. I think so. I, it's so maybe she is a little bit of a drama queen. I think she's got a little bit of the Nora in her of like I don't fit in, and so therefore no one's gonna like me. But she, meanwhile, no one said anything, or they got it clear, and they seem to talk to her. So I don't understand. I don't know. It was, weird. Yeah, it was it was crazy, but like I said, I just felt bad for her. She, I mean, it wasn't like I mean, I've, I've cut myself worse than that and not have to, you know, just. But if you if you did need help, would you not ask for help, especially when the people are right there? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably, I actually can I get some help here. I'm bleeding out, but uh, anyway, I, she was, like she put her head down so she wouldn't pass out. I'm like going, I I don't know. I just <laughs> it was a little. I thought it was a. I mean, maybe. Maybe we're not. I'm being not fair with her, but it seemed a little over dramatic because you don't want to show weakness. Oh my gosh! No. The worst thing you do is let them know that you're hurt in the yeah. way you perform. Because the minute that happens, someone's they're assessing: is she going to be able to perform? You know, you make. Well, we know she, we know she can't perform the puzzle challenges. She cannot. She cannot. I think she was just. She was really unraveling there, and I think that's when that's where the game starts to play you mentally if you keep yeah. it together. And it's already. It's only day eight. Right, and you start to get so, annoyed, and how are you going to go further? I just uh, anyway, uh, I guess we can go start from the beginning. I, I like when they came back from tribal council. Uh, Jack handled the blind side. I thought perfect. He did. He was pretty good about it. I thought he, you know, he's like, you know, um, I think we talked about last week with Aaron how Aaron, you know, wow, went all crazy, but Jam Jamal not so much. Jamal took it kind of personal. Yeah, and I kind of, you know what. I, Jack seemed like he was like the very chill guy. And even in his confessionals, he seems very chill. Like, okay, well, and that's exactly how you have to be. Um, Jamal didn't do quite the errand, but no. um, but still you could tell Jamal just by last week, the way he was kind of acting like he was running it or how he was like, oh, I'm going to take a nap. He's way overconfident. And that probably really takes, your ego takes a big smack on something like that. And I, yeah. 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 So I, like I said, there's there was two. I, I like how they showed both sides, though. But, you know, because mm -hmm. last week we only got the air. Well, obviously we couldn't get the other side because the guy was voted out. But <laughs> if you, if, if, again, if you get blindsided, you have to just okay regroup. Right. Regroup. You can be pissed, but you don't show it. It's like you're saying about the injury. You can't really show that you're hurt. You have to kind of you know. Anyway, he didn't handle it well. A game where every single day you have to reassess what is going on, and you have to be able to pivot to to that situation every day. Right, because it's it's a game that's always changing. Mm -hmm. and, and again, you know, like I said, there could be tribe swaps. There could be, you know, someone gets mad at someone at the tribe. I mean, you never know what's going to. Someone gets hurt. There's there's so many different you know things that going. It's just not a it's not a game that's just black and white. There's just there's just 
like you said, so many different things going on. I like how Vince, they're trying to get the, the bro, the, the bromance is trying to get Vince in the bromance and he's just not buying it. No. And I kind of was like, all right, Vince, he gets it. Um, and I kind of thought he was very savvy. I thought that no, he's really, I was very proud of him. Um, yeah. Then at that point, I was still proud of him. <laughs> he seemed to know what was going on. Yeah. He seemed to have a grasp of how the game was going. I just, I don't know. I just, um, well, we'll get to that when we get to that. We go to the other tribe and Nora's still ticking everybody off. She cannot stop herself. Yeah. Again, what she's saying makes sense. If you go to the beach, you go to some, bring back wood, bring back, you know, it it, it makes sense. If you're going to go somewhere, yeah, just bring so we have plenty of wood. But she just doesn't, da, 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 da. I think she just drives people crazy. Well, I think we've seen it in other seasons where there's that one person who seems to be annoyed by everybody else. And that's Nora. And if it was a situation where she's going and getting stuff and stuff, maybe there's two, at least one or two other people, you can't be the sole person. If one or two is doing the same thing as you and you're going, yeah, well, let's just tell people, then it doesn't come across so right. rough or, or whatever it is that comes from her. But when everybody is doing that thing that you think they should be doing and they're not doing it, you can't be the one person telling them that they're wrong and you're right. It doesn't work. Expe well. Especially when you're already on the outs. Right. Especially when you've, all, the people, when you, when you've almost got voted up because you, you were already annoying people. But she just, she can't. I think she's just a control freak. Like I said, what she was saying, I, I agreed with her 100%. But people don't want to listen to her anymore. They've, they've already gotten to the point where I don't want to listen to you anymore. I'm done. She's not pivoting. She's no, not. She's not. She's not pivoting. She's not adapting to the, after, the rules of the game. After the tribal, you would have thought she would have gone. Okay, I'm still here. All right. Let's let's reevaluate. She did not do that at all. No. She, I think that's who she is. She's going to continue to do that. That's why I said some of these people are kind of wacky. They're just kind. Of, they they got different personalities this year, where people just they just, they just can't control who they are. Which it makes it good for the game, you know, yeah. for a viewer. But you're, if you're rooting for someone, you're like, okay, you gotta, you gotta stop. You gotta stop doing what you're doing. But she can't stop. She just has to. You're just watching them self destruct, and you're like, oh gosh. Still and I don't, I don't want to throw single people under the bus, but she is single, so she's used to doing things her own way. Oh, that's and, and and that's a bit, that's a big, you know, when you're married or you're with somebody or you know, you have to compromise or it's not going to work. She also said she was an entrepreneur, so she used to be in the boss. Right. So she's she's not used to being sitting back and letting other people dictate. Well, she, when she she comes not, home, she does whatever she wants. I don't think she's even used to compromising, maybe really. So no. Maybe that maybe that's the issue. She's, yeah, and it, it's definitely showing because she's just well, she, she's still there. So <laughs> she's doing she's not doing, she's doing better than some of the other ones. Uh then you got Jamal, who's on the outs. And yet, but Jamal doesn't go just, okay, I'm going to sit back and let, uh, he still goes, I'm going to dictate what's going on. He didn't go he take got, a nap though, did he? <laughs> do what? He didn't go take a nap though, did he? No, he didn't. But still, he. at this point, you go, oh, we need to get Dan out. Do you start going to people saying, yeah, let's, we got to get Dan out. I I, I want I, I just kind of lay low for a couple, right? couple weeks, a couple days anyway. But no, not Jamal. He was. Because even people are saying, saying, he was almost voted out. Well, why are we listening to him? Do you think maybe it was a defensive thing? Like he's so eager to hurry up and point the finger towards someone else so that people aren't looking at him next, maybe? And he was I think that could be good strategy, but not the from what we saw, he it wasn't like you know, casually going up there, hey, what about this Dan guy? Do you trust him? You know, he's kind of he's touchy feely. He's you know, he's 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 kind of creepy. You know, something like that. But he was more, yeah, I just we gotta get him out. I don't trust him. Are you with me? <laughs> I think your play after any time you go to tribal and you are blindsided that you weren't in on what the boat was going to go. That next, your moments when you go back to tribal, especially the next, or sorry, back to the beach, the next day, especially, you need to just seriously just get in with the crowd, listen to what people are saying and see if anybody says anything about anybody. You don't bring it up, but if right. something brings up somebody, then maybe you go, yeah, I noticed that. You know, you yeah. help, you help the seeds grow. Right, you're not planting the seeds because it really makes you look like you're playing too hard. Right, but that's that, that's perfect. That's perfect what you just said. But he didn't do that. From what we saw, he didn't do it. He just was running in there and go, "This is what I want to do." And I, I don't think he's going to last. I don't think he's going to last very long. 
because I just think he he'll, he'll be considered anyone that is considered playing the game hard becomes a target. Mm-hmm. That like you said, there's ways to do it without looking. You want to you want to. I forget the last year's winner, but he was perfect at it. He let other people go out there and be the. He was setting the seeds. If he was, you know, he's, but he wasn't the one in the front lines getting the blood on his hands. He was he was very calm and and let other people do it. And I think that's how you have to do, especially with this group, because this group is paranoid. Right. And this this whole group, I mean, right, you know, right away, because we'll say the next one, Vince has to head off to to Island of the Idols, and he's like, oh, I don't want to go to Island of the Idols. I mean, I felt bad for him because this is almost like it's almost like a uh, punishment to go there. So did you think when they pulled Vince's name, when they said that's who was going? Because we don't know ahead of time because they don't right. show us who they pull. This no. was the first time where I thought, are they, are the producers? I don't know. It just felt a little like, oh, of course it's Vince. But yeah, that's why I don't like that. They don't show us right away who got picked mm-hmm. because again, it, it, I'm not saying that's what's going on, but you're giving that impression. Why let us think, okay, that's what's going on. That and they're, thought, they're dictating oh, the game. Cause I think, and this is just going by what we've seen as far as the edit plus us just talking um, and other people that I've talked to that are fans. Um, it feels like Vince was a really day one not like the favorite, but a lot of people were right away like, oh, I like that guy. Right. So the fact that he's going already to the island of the idols, I thought, hmm. Not saying that that's what happened, but, you know, I'm suspicious sometimes. So Yeah, I, I don't. It can't help but be suspicious because it is like, oh, why him? You know, of all the, the random picks. But then I like when he gets on the boat and leaves, the group, you know, remains behind. Dean right away, we got to split the vote. I'm like, well, what are you doing, Dean? <laughs> And it was like that was Dean's first uh, confessional too. Like we've hardly seen him at all. I didn't know who Dean was. <laughs> and then he makes this big blunder where he's like, "Oh, I said it in front of every single person." So every si- uh, oops, yeah, wow. Yeah, I just was like, "Oh my god!" I just said that was just brutal. And then because yeah, everyone just stopped and looked at him, and everyone's thinking the same thing. Well, he, he, like he said, everyone was thinking that. Right. But you can't blurt it because one of the one of the you're splitting the votes is one of the people that. You just said it. I mean, I get what he's saying because he's not wrong. It's like, hey, if we have to go to tribal and we have to think about who to vote for, we know this person's going over then they might. So maybe you split between him and whoever else we decide. You maybe explain a little, but the way he just said it and left it like that, it was, it just left it really weird. Like he had, it makes every single person think, does he have an alliance that I don't know about that they're right. Yeah, that he just let something out of the bag. It sounded really again. We come we, again. We come back to that. It's sometimes it's better just be quiet. Let someone else. Let someone else put their foot in their mouth and do it. And you go. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Like you said earlier. But yeah, he, I was like going. I can't believe he just said that. And <laughs> it's it like, oh, it was just crazy. It was kind of funny actually. Yeah, <laughs> but then we go to and Vince is, is gets emotional. He sees uh, Sandra and and Boston Rob. He's getting emotional. Even Boston Rob looked like he was. Emotional. I was, I was waiting for Boss Rob. Shut up, you baby! But you know, he it, they, it looked like it was an emotional scene because he was just overwhelmed by people that he idolized. Boston even said, uh, "It's it's humbling. It's humbling to see the effect you have on people." You know, and you're like, "Yeah, wow, Boston Rob, humble what?" But yeah. uh, <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, and it was nice that they just kind of let him let him cry and let him have his moment, and they, you know, um, kind of consoled him or whatever they understand um, and, that, and maybe it makes them remember that at one point they were at home watching you know before they were right home. what did that feel like so like if they met richard hatch or you know <laughs> i don't know somebody down the line uh but i i i like that i like the fact they had to go to the other camp to take fire but i thought the i thought the training was stupid i i just i i thought the crawling on the sand and the and uh, uh, I think Boston Robbie even said something. Yeah, it's it's uh, Sandra. She's over. You know, she's she's overdoing it. Like, I don't know. Maybe just for usual, TV. Then, as usual. Yeah, I was just like going, okay, this is just dumb. It but, was funny though. It's funny watching them do it, it. It's funny watching it, but I'm like going, okay, this this is not you know. So they had to come up with some sort of lesson for that for that task, and it's what kind of lesson can you tell them? I mean, here's yeah. the map. That was good. Here's the map. Here's where things are. Let's make out a plan. This is what you're going to do. Um, it might have been enough. Maybe you didn't need to army crawl across the beach. 
<laughs> with the okay. stick, with the stick climbing underneath the <laughs> stick like he's being shot at. Um, anyway, but I he he goes out. He, he he decides to do it. So if he gets it, he'll get he'll get a uh, idol for it's good for two tribal councils, or he loses his vote. But he's I I thought yeah, you got to do it. I don't know. I was a little. I was. A, this would have been the one where if I was in this boat, knowing kind of what's going on over there, I might have gone. I don't know if I can afford to lose my boat. But he did it. So good for him for taking the chance. I might. And I thought. Him. And I thought he was pretty smart because he goes there and I can't. Who had the bad dream? I don't know, but that was a little creepy that it happened right at that moment. Yeah, they have. They're having a bad dream. It was. It was someone in the middle. I don't know if it was a. I don't even know if it was a guy or a girl. I couldn't tell who it was. I thought it was a girl, but I could be wrong. I couldn't tell. But um, he goes there and, and he and they have no fire. And at this point, I'm thinking, I, I, I got to give him credit. I don't think I would have taken the ashes. I would have been looking around. What can I take to prove that I got this far? Yeah, but I said the ashes. That was brilliant. Yeah, that was really smart because I probably would. I would have probably really shot myself in the foot because at least the ashes aren't something they're going to miss. I would have been. I probably would have taken something else. But then they would know that someone took something. So yeah, I would have. But you, know, but you know what? If you take something, you're weakening that team because they're going to start blaming some. They're going to look. Let's say you take. Say you find something like their flint or or something. Yeah. You take their flint. I just thought about this. We were talking about. I said that would have been brilliant to do if you took something from their camp. Well, yeah, maybe that would have really been a, a such a sabotage move, huh? Because well, you, you you wake up the next day and you go, hey, wait, where's our where's our pots? Where's our pan? Because I and they're gone. That's that. That's probably what I would have done is tried to grab one of the pots. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, how would they know? They wouldn't know it was you if no. you got caught. And I was afraid he was going to get caught. But everyone, they just kept looking up like they were kind of heard stuff. In which, hello, you're sleeping outside. You probably are hearing animals and stuff all the time. Right. So you probably just glance. Is there something? Oh, no. Okay, I'm going back to sleep. Is there a snake by me? <laughs> yeah, really. What is that? Um, but yeah, that might have been really a cool thing. I hope if they do this again, I hope somebody does that because to they wouldn't get to see the fallout, but it really would cause some uh, paranoid craziness when the next Because we, we've seen it where, where last year, the girl, I can't remember her name, she was didn't want the chickens to die and she let the chickens go and she oh, hid. Yeah. And she, oh, I can't think of her name. She had, yeah. yeah. She was on the spectrum, right? Or she had right. the, the Tourette's. Tourette's. Tourette's, and she and she and and so it just got everybody ticked off. So if you if you took something from the camp, and someone's going to get blamed, that yeah. and that just would be, it would cause friction. But but, that, he, but but he was he was very smart to take the ashes. I don't think I would have thought about that. That would have then weakened their team unity. Maybe they wouldn't have done as good at try at uh at the challenge. Right. They're infighting. Especially when a challenge like the, the one we had was was a team. You had to you had to work as a team to get it to work. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, uh, but the only thing that bothered me is he, we come back and they go straight to the uh, reward challenge. Yeah, I go well. What what happened when he came back? Because I want to know if obviously he didn't tell them that Sandra and Rob are there. So this is the third time when someone's gone there and not said anything. Right. And yeah, you're right. They didn't even show us, so we don't even know what the lie was this time. But I guess if you're that person. So he knows what Elizabeth said. Do you lie and just say what Elizabeth said? He was also the first person to have to, to not be able to come right back. He was away. I did. I did. I did. I did read what 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 he what he said. What oh. he, he said. He said it was a memory. He had to memorize five items and have to memorize it to get. To, it was something like that where he had to memorize. He made up something. Okay. That had happened. So he made something up like that, but. Um, Again, we didn't see it, so I, I, I wanted to know if he, because you know, with between him and Elizabeth, did he go to Elizabeth? Say okay, be like I know, like <laughs> yeah, and they didn't show that, yeah. so I'm, I'm guessing they didn't say but they didn't. Elizabeth get, went back to camp and didn't even help them make fire after she learned how to do it. So they're not showing her interacting with her teammates very much. No, well. that's true too. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so we go to the challenge, and it, it it was one of the tougher ones they've had. I thought. Yeah, I thought it was pretty tough. I mean, Janet did. She's a lifeguard. Was doing a great job swimming, but she had trouble untying the buoy. So her tribe is way behind. Uh, is it Voku, Voku, Vokai? Vokai. Vokai is way behind. But it's a puzzle challenge, so there's always a chance that the team can catch up. But I thought having to, you know, the teeter totter thing up on the water. I mean, they're not up too high, but still. It's a little scary, I would it's, think. It's the way that they had to do it, and they had to climb around each other, and they had to – the balancing part wouldn't be so bad. It was that you had to 
balance it in such that way that this one you want this to go up on this side and then now you now you gotta go it was uh i don't know it looked pretty i thought it would look difficult honestly is it lyru is, is that the other tribe Lero. Lero. they they had such a huge lead mm -hmm. such a i'm like okay there's i mean i know it's a puzzle challenge but how bad could they be but they uh the other team finally catches up and they can't solve the puzzle. I mean, they, they were terrible at it. Yeah. And I'm looking there and I'm watching it and you can almost tell from the TV, like, no, those pieces right there, pick yeah. those ones up. And they just couldn't do it. Like they couldn't see that, like the very outer edge border was all one color. So find yeah. that color, build that side. Well, someone was yelling behind him. Look at the colors, right. look at the color. And there's just, I think you just get panicked and you're like, and you look at the other tribes just cause it was, uh, it was, um, uh, Jamal, right? Right. He put in the puzzle. So Jamal's just like pop, 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 putting the puzzle together like crazy. But I'm like, oh my god, put the puzzle. Just like you almost hate to see a team, you know, have such a big lead and just can't. Yeah, they can't do it. Apart. They were just standing there like. It, but they, but they lost. I mean, it just lost. It just mm -hmm. it, as bad as it was. But then they they go back to camp and you know they're all like wondering and you know well, we got to keep it strong. We got to do this. We got to do that and. I really didn't think Vince was going to go home. I didn't either. I really I, thought that I thought the girls were going to stick together, and I thought he was in that alliance. So right, it seemed like they were pulling him in because they kind of saw him as like kind of like them. Like they he he had a similar mentality as they did about let's get these guys out. Fine. Right. Um, and then when he was talking to Krishna, and he was literally trying to empower her because she was so like negative so paranoid so like uh and he was just like give us a name who do you want to go she's like she wouldn't, make, she wouldn't make a decision no i know it's me i know i'm on the chopping block okay well who do you like make an argument for yourself he was trying to empower her and then she got like kind of i don't know weird about that too but he was he was being kind of he was honest with her right he's 100 okay give us something like you said give us someone we should vote for who do you want who do you want off it's and then he suggested Tom because Tom is, he said he's older. He gets winded at the challenges. He's, he's, but I think, I think some of the girls like him because he's like the father figure. Sure. That's what they said. And I'm like going, oh my, cause I didn't want Tom to go home either. I like Tom. I didn't want him to go home either. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I really, at this point had no idea who was going to go home. Uh -huh. But the way Vince was, he was using logic. Like we were there at the challenge and we were all, you know, but he was already winded when we got up to the platform. Right. And if that's a real and legitimate concern for the tribe, then yeah. you have to think about that because, you know, there'll be a lot, they start to get more and more and more physical usually. Yeah, um, well, and, and as time goes on, you start wearing down. Right. Right. So, you know, Tom might be in gr amazing shape for his age and I, he probably is, but still it's going to endurance wise, it's going to be tough with those younger kids. And yeah, so I don't know. And, and knowing, and he was making a good argument. I thought, yeah, I thought I he, I thought for Tom was going home because of what he was saying. Yeah, and Vince I, he was he just made, made sense. Or controlling I, Vince was just saying like this is who I think this is why. Yeah, he didn't say this is who we have to get. He right. just he, like you said he was making a perfect case for it. But but you know I I, I don't know, I think when they go, we go to tribal and I, I think uh, Aaron said he goes look we can be the strongest tribe in the world but we can't solve these puzzles it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. And it's twice twice that they've been there and they couldn't they've lost twice because they couldn't solve puzzles. They were terrible at it. Yeah, and the way that Aaron was talking right away, I thought, oh, that's it. Krishna's right. It's her. She's got yeah. to have an argument of why. If you cannot if the same thing happens in Big Brother all the time. If you cannot defend why it is you deserve to stay in someone else, another wait, another out, but to vote for you, then yeah, you've lost because you're going home. And that's yeah. another that's yeah. what I thought what was happening, but it did not happen. And her argument was, you haven't seen me. I'm strong. I'm physical. I can do all these different things. I'm not going. Can you though? Uh, it's it's been it's been what four episodes, and we haven't seen it yet. It's it's, it's going to happen, and you're terrible at the puzzles. You don't seem to fit in at the camp. I I thought for sure she was gone. I mean, I just thought for Ooh. sure she was gone. So well done on those edits because yeah. I was not seeing what was happening, but. Yeah, the last couple of seasons, they've been very good because it used to be, you, you know exactly who was going home. Right. Yeah, we know people who knew exactly every week because they could read the edits so well. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it's not like that quite so much anymore.
But but yeah, this one I was a little disappointed because I like Vince. I thought, yeah. and he had the freaking idol. Clearly, he didn't think he was going. But I, I'll say this though: I would have played it because this this is the problem. This is the problem with getting the idol going over there. If you come back and you don't tell anybody, mm -hmm. and then you play the idol, people go, "Okay, he's he can't be trusted." So I, what I would have done, I would have come back since I can only use it twice. I would said, "Yeah, I want an idol. I'm gonna use it. I'm just I'll flush it out. I'm gonna use it on the next one." And that way, people go, they they trust you. There's no blind side. If they think about it, if they're if they're because you know you're you're out of the camp. You don't know what's going on. And right away, every time someone goes, we've seen the people go. Okay, they they might get an idol. We got to you know got to do this because yeah, was it uh, was it Kelly when she put it in her hair last week? Was it Kelly? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, she, yeah, but she did a great job of, of disguising it. But I would have I would have just come back and say, because I think in this game, people know you're going over there. And it's called mm -hmm. Island of the Idols. And there's, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get an idol. And even Elizabeth said she tried to get an idol and she failed because of the, the challenge. So people are always going to have one, though. People are always going to think you have one, even if you don't. Yeah. But if you have one, I will play it. You're right. I, I think it'd be different if it was for whenever, you know, up to like the normal idol, you could play up to what the, the you know, the, towards the end, so but five, it, five, I think, right? Five, final five. But if it's, if it's just good, for, I'm just going to go out and I mean, it's only one good for one more. I'm saying, look, Hey, I got it. I'm playing it. You, you, you know? tell them you play it right away. It's gone. It's done. You're, and now you are no longer a threat to anyone. Yeah. I would say I'm going to play it. It's, it was only good for two times. I'm just going to, we're going to flush it out now. You don't have to worry. I'm, I'm honest and I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. You're, you're my teammates. That whole, you can just be full of crap. But I was thinking about that today. I said, that's how I would approach it. I yeah. just think that's the best the way. Right away. They're going to go, Oh, okay. You're, like you said, you earn trust, right? You're the honest person who, who, who just tells it like it is. No, that's, that's a brilliant play. You're right. And he, and even even if you are the target, you're no longer the target because I'm going to play it. Now they could sit there and say, "Okay, maybe he won't play it. Maybe he's just lying to us." But I go, "No, we got here, Jeff. I'm going to play it. I'm getting it out of here. I'm flushing it out. I don't want an idol." Well, you have to play survival, tribal to tribal, because how often have we seen in tribal where it's between these two people, and you think, "Oh my gosh." That person went home next time it's that other person for sure and then something happens they go back and now nobody's even talking about that other person that you thought was a clear contender to be the next one out for sure and it, it totally flips and it's somebody else it's almost like by making a decision between two people that other person kind of gets like let them like they're off the hook now so right. yeah if you did that one time you're you probably not be they wouldn't want to vote you out the next time you'd probably be like oh it would totally go back around and be somebody yeah. else. Because it, it, like you said, we said in the beginning, the game evolves every mm -hmm. day. It's changing. It's changing all the time. So again, that's what I would do. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I was like, Vince, play your idol, play your idol, play your idol. And when he didn't do it, I'm like, going, okay. Then the vote was, I think they started out uh, two for charisma or two for Tom, whatever it was. And all of a sudden it was like two and two. And then all of a sudden here come all the Vince. Vince, Vince. Vince and Vince is like going, Hmm. Like, what? Uh, I, I guess I should have played the idol <laughs> and he even brought it. He had it in his, his water cup. And, and Sandra was in there like one, Ooh, you know, he went home with an idol. Yeah. Um, I feel bad for him. I, I, I kind of liked him. I wish he would have stayed longer. He, I think he was good TV and I think yeah. he was, a, he was a smart, a smart player. He just got, I mean, again, I, I, again, I, I, I that going to that is not a reward. Going there's right now. It could be later on, but right now it's not a reward. It's 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 a target. It's putting a target on your back. Like I said, I wonder if you could just say, "Hey, I don't want to go." <laughs> can someone else oh, go? Someone take my place. Yeah. Can I can I just pick someone else? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it could be a reward if you know that you're on the bottom. You absolutely know, and you you need something. Uh, you need like the Deus Ex Machina to like fall out of the sky and save you because you're going home tonight, no matter what. Right. That and it's a then it's a reward. You need that. Um, but yeah, if you're just doing your game and everything's cool and you have to go over there, yeah, it's not good. Because um, he was, he was in no, he was in no danger that we had uh -uh. seen. No, I, well, I yeah, I think they would have showed it. Um, he seemed to be trustworthy. He seemed to be pretty open, um, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe he trusted everyone too much. But I think he would have been loyal 
he looks like, or he seemed that. That's the vibe I was yeah. getting from. Him. Yeah, he I, been- I just was shocked. Like I said, I go, I can't believe it's him. And it was, the, it was most of the women voted for him, right? Yes. I don't know. I don't get it, but whatever. I didn't see all that they saw. I guess Tom's more important to them, or or Aaron. I would have got rid of Aaron. Sorry. Yeah, I, I probably would. I probably would have voted Aaron out too because. Yeah. He made a big deal. I mean, but now yeah. again, how we say it's changed. Here's a guy who was on the bottom, handled it terribly. He was terrible yeah. the way he handled it, and he's safe. Yeah. He's all of See, a sudden now. He, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The lap that after that trouble, you thought, oh, he's next for yep. sure. Nope. Yeah, nope. I just, I, I don't know. It just, just cracks me up. I. But anyway, yeah. anything, anything else you got on this episode? Um. No, I think that's, I think we got it all. I think I, I think I stuck it all in there. <laughs> well, went a little shorter. We didn't have JP today. So, uh, we did only two talkers instead of our normal three. Yeah. Cause, uh, somebody left a, 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 a comment on our last one saying someone named Tamara Gladfelter. I don't know. She's, she might, I, I might know who she is, but she, uh, said it's a little long. And I said, well, blame JP. And so today it's short and there's no JP. Well, I guess that's your theory proven then, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And what does Tamara know what she's talking about? <laughs> and what kind of name is Tamara? I don't, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> but <laughs> it comes to, oh, but no. do you have your MVP of the episode? Yeah, I do want to say my MVP. I'm sorry. My MVP is Vince, even though he went home. I don't think he personally, other than not playing his idol. But he was playing a solid game. Yeah. He was enjoyable. He did he he did the challenge and got the idol. He was doing everything like, oh, if he would have just played it. But I don't I didn't see where he I don't I didn't see anywhere where he screwed up. But they I just decided I, to I, like I, said, I can almost agree with you, but he went home not playing the idol. No, that's why I'm like, but nobody else stands out on the episode for me. I can't say Karishma. She got a lot of a lot of time on on screen, yeah. but yeah, it, it but, was because we we talked about before that we didn't know who we were going to pick. Yeah, until I because last week I was solid. I knew exactly who I was going to pick. I think I'm going to go with even jo- Jamal played a terrible, but he was so good at the puzzle. Yeah, I thought about that actually, but I'm like, I'm going mm-hmm. to give it to Jamal just for that because again, like you said, there's nobody that you went. Mm-hmm. They played an Not- excellent game today. Because we don't know yeah. why Vince went home. We don't know who was behind sending Vince home. Gosh, this is where we need those behind the scenes things. Like there's got to be like an extended something. Come on, CBS All Access, you want us to pay by that. Give us I, some more. I've been we'll saying this since, I've been saying this since CBS All Access came out. They should be showing us clips on there. Because I have it. Because that's how I watch that's how I watch Survivor. I don't have we don't have cable anymore. And I go, that's, I would, I would definitely, I go, people would pay extra. It's like Big Brother. I'm sure people go on those that pay for the extra fly fees to go watch it. Um, but I would, I would do that. I've said that about Amazing Race, all these reality shows. We want yeah. to see it. We want to see what's going on. We want more. We want the unedited clips. Come on. I mean, I know they release some on their website, but it's never enough. And like I said, I don't know how Vince went home. I don't, I don't know. You know, you can give it to Jamal too, because not only did he get good on the puzzle, he was an entire episode three whole days, no naps. So, I mean, he did well there. Too. <laughs> it's a way to go, Jamal. But uh, go straight away. Woo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's all I got today. Maybe this was him playing. Didn't remember he said, "Now I'll be playing in fourth gear." So maybe he's playing in fourth gear now. That could be it. That could be it. So, so my winning pick was Jamal. Yours is Vince. Home, love the episode. Okay, all right. <laughs> but that's all I got. I was very, very pouty face after the episode. I'm not gonna lie. I was very pouty face. Yeah, again, it was one of those words because so far I really haven't cared who went home. But this one, I was like, I'm not Vince. I like Vince. 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 And you hate to see someone go home with an idol. And and you know what? I even laughed really hard when he fell down. <laughs> he was going out of the room. That. that was funny because he's trying to get out of there so quietly. Bam, 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 bam. Right. And so, I mean, he had a great episode. This was the Vince episode, even though he went all. Some people go home and they never get any airtime. So. Pro- problem is, though, like three, four weeks from now, we'll forget all about Vince. True. I mean, I, I hate I'd say it. I, it was like 
towards the end because they don't do the in the opening credits anymore. They don't they don't do the music where they show all the survivors. You know, so, so you you forget about the people get voted off early. So when like when they merge, you're like going, like who's that? What? I forgot. I forgot about that. Even though Vince was so uh, such a great character, we'll forget about him. But I think he'll be he'll be back again. I think. Well, with him with him being out now, there'll be more screen time for other people. So you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I don't know. There, I, I don't know if there is it interesting, but uh, I thought Vince could oh, have won. Vince could have won it. You know why it's so hard for an MVP this this episode? Because look at all the screw ups. You had Karishma breaking down. You have Nora complaining about everything. You have Dean opening his mouth and saying what he said. There went. A, I mean, it was a lot of like bad moves more so. So it was a hard episode for an MVP. Like There's no said, standout. The the editing at Tribal was excellent, but the editing when Vince comes back, the editing when we're finding out who. I mean, I guess that helps us not know who's going home, but. It's just okay. Why, I, I don't mind being blindsided, but usually there's some kind of there's some kind of logic behind who goes home, and there was no. I will say, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, and we didn't even mention it during the recap, that Kimmy, she really did organize those ladies together for the vote. And yeah, she did. She was kind of she's she might. I was going. I remember thinking, ooh, she's real smart. She's real smart. So, um, well, I'll be watching her definitely for these coming coming. I mean, episode. And the, and the ladies did vote him off. They did. They did. It was all on them. They they have some master plan, but good good on them. Because you know what? Those those lady alliances never last. Yeah. Ever. Every time you think like, oh, they can get together. Nope. They can never keep. So good on them for being able to do now whatever. Day nine. Well, well, ho ho hopefully they stick together because I don't really like any of the guys. I, I like Tom, but Tom's not going to win it. Because even Tom, I like a tribal... Nope, that's how I'm playing the game. That's how I'm playing the game. Yeah, that was that was a little rigid. Yeah. yeah, down that tribe, there's not very many likable guys. The other tie side has well, they have Jack. Yeah, and you know, like every Jack, every Jack is awesome. So I mean, of, of course, course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and for our viewers that don't know, I, my son is also named Jack, so I really like Jack. So so, um, so perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So yeah, um, no, he's. There's some likable people on their tribe, so. But I like, and I also like that it's gone back and forth that we're not having a super blow it on the one side because I was worried that that was going to happen too. So, I'm I'm really liking the season so far. I really like the twist. It's enjoyable. It's very entertaining, and I hope they keep that that way. I hope it keeps running smoothly. So. Yeah, I mean, like I said, no complaints so far, other than not finding out what's going, what happened with Vince. Yeah. And you know what? That's pretty good because this is only episode three. And usually by episode three of any Survivor season, you're kind of not even invested. You kind of don't even care yet. Right? Well, these guys started playing the game right away. Mm -hmm. And I think that I think that helps. It helps get you into the game. And it, like I said, but you've had you've had you have an interesting, like I said, Nora is annoying as she is, she's interesting. Mm -hmm. Vince was very interesting, I thought. And then you had, you know, you have you had a lot of good characters on this show, but mm -hmm. We'll see. I like I said right now. I couldn't tell you who's going to win it, but me neither. There's no, there's no front runner. No. Well, well, Kelly, that's my winner's pick. She's going to win it all. Just okay. That's going to happen. So, yeah. <laughs> maybe Dean. I don't know. Maybe we'll get more. <laughs> maybe we'll get more airtime. <laughs> Is this the, he's getting the non-winners edit because now they're doing reverse psychology. So now we're, he's definitely winning the whole thing. Yeah. Well, luckily his his team won, so he wasn't a target. Luckily, <laughs> luckily. Oh no, no, his team, his team lost. What am I saying? Oh, he got a, he got a vote, didn't he? Oh, wait a minute. See, that it just goes to show how they never show him. Yes, they went to tribal. And he didn't. Yeah, I forget. I just we're just we're talking about Aaron and we're talking about Tom being guys on there. We don't really like any of the guys. Nobody even knows that Dean is playing. Yeah. <laughs> Was, I forget. Sorry. I it was like so when they said Dean, I said, "Who's Dean?" <laughs> sorry, Dean. Oh, poor Dean. Like if you win it, Dean, we'll we'll, we'll say we're sorry. All right, don't <laughs> hold it against us. All right, that's it. We'll be back next week. We're hoping JP's back next uh, with us next week, unless he has another show to go to. He, he had a he, he had a crazy day today. Anyway, I, I won't say what it was, but he had, he had a probably an up and down day, right? It was up and down. Mostly good, I think good, but yeah.
No, people don't have to worry about it. He's good. He's, yeah, he's it, was, it was all good. Uh, but that's it. If you like this, share it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That's it. We're out of here. More comments, please. Yeah, if we get more comments, except from Tamara, we'll, uh, we won't read them. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye, everybody. See ya.